Nick and him. You've been slacking on all your fucking videos, man. Where's that new shit, huh? Where it at? What? Who are you? Listen, bro, you have to make a new video on Brutal Mind now, okay? The people want it, and I want it too, so get snapped. But I already made a Brutal Mind video, why do I have to do another one? Because I fucking said so, so you do what I say. <sighs> you know what? You're right, weird voice that's probably in my head because of chronic schizophrenia. I should do another video. There's more bands out there that need fucking attention. Thanks, voice. Also cut your hair, you look like a fat lesbian. Asshole. And hello once again to the Angelus Mortem Productions channel, ran by a guy with shitty taste and way too much time. Yes, we are back at the music listening station because we have some more CDs to review from Brutal Mind. I'm doing these just like last time, haven't really listened to these in depth, so I'm gonna go through the CD and then give my opinion right off the bat. Some of you might be wondering, Nicodem, why aren't you doing like a more in depth exploration of Brutal Mind, you know? Review it just like you reviewed the other stuff. I could, but. How many times can you say blast beats and pig squeals? You know what I'm saying? Eventually you kind of start to realize that most of the brutal death metal here has very similar tropes at the very least. So, I don't know, I just feel like it would be kind of repetitive in a script format. So the first band on our list here is a band called Amor Fatty. And this is Overdose Earth, I think that's pronounced. That's this CD right here. Yeah, this looks like some brutal shit. Um, I can't deny, I've probably seen this cover around somewhere, out and about, I don't know. It's kind of like, sometimes I'll go on Brutal Mind and not even know that uh, a release is from them, but I'm like, oh, I've seen that before. All right, let's pop this in, see what we got. Waiting for my super slow CD player to read the disc because it takes forever. This intro track is really creepy. Spooky. Oh, there's alarms. There's alarms. It's kind of reminded me of uh, Abominable Putridity a little bit. They kind of had like that, just, you know, more violence. I like violence. All right, honestly, I'm gonna skip the intro track. Oh! Dude, that double bass is like a fucking earthquake. Holy shit. All right, so we're on the fourth track right now, and so far it's just been nothing but an absolute onslaught of madness. I don't even know what I'm talking right about because the music is just overloading my fucking brain, and I can't even focus on what I'm saying right now. All I hear in my head is... Oh, it's a slower part. Here we go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough of that. Uh, whew, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm more fatty. I have to give it to you guys. You fucking rule. The double bass is so fucking huge and earth shattering, and the way it's paired with the guitars, it really reminds me of uh, another Indonesian band called Apoptosis Contractomy. And, uh, you know, I talked about them in the past in the last video. But yeah, it just kind of sounds a little bit similar, but they have like this just. Just, just fucking onslaught, just never, never stops. It just keeps pummeling you. And it doesn't have any moment where there's like a break, there's no interludes, there's no nothing. All right, so Amor Fadi, uh, absolute like eight or nine out of 10, just fucking awesome stuff, love it. Okay, and the next two releases that we have are actually from the same group. I obtained a full length album from these guys, as well as a single, and of course I'm talking about uh, oh god, it's one of these. Interfectorment. Interfectorment? Interfectorment. Interfectorment. Interfectorment with Grotesquely Decay. That is this album. I'm sorry if it's hard to make out because the artwork is quite dark, but there's, you know, there's some corpses there. Hey, Billy, what kind of music you listen to, bro? You like any cool bands? Oh, yeah, man. There's this really sick group I heard of the other day. They're called Interfectorment. <laughs> Okay, so obviously a little bit more raw than Amor Fadi as we just heard. Really murky, gritty production. Sorry guys, I'm out of breath from all the fucking... Fuck. So I must say that this uh, Interfectorment album is a... Uh, Pretty good. Interfectorment sound on this EP or album or whatever actually reminds me a lot of a band like Disentomb. It's very murky, 
raw, but it's just fast, brutal, pummeling shit. It's like a wall of sound. It's like a fucking, like... <laughs> I, I like it a lot. There's really nothing much to say. If you like punishing, raw, and devastating, brutal death, death metal, Interfectorment is amazing on there. A grotesque Decay album. But we're also going to check out this single, or I think there's two songs on here actually, so uh, let's peep that as well. <laughs> the murkiness and destructive power is definitely still there. But it's just, it's less punchy somehow. I don't know, I don't really feel like the devastating quality that I saw from the album. Like this just kind of sounds like watered down inter interfectorment. All right, this is sick, this is the cool part. All right, so the Interfectorment single was okay. It wasn't that bad. Honestly, I didn't see a lot of difference between the album and the single. So I guess if you're a huge fan of the album, you can also pick up the other release. It's pretty much the same thing. I don't know, I just feel like the, the beefiness wasn't there as much, you know? Like this one had like a fucking brutal ass, like holy shit, you know, kind of atmosphere. But this was kind of flatter. I don't know, it's like, Fresh soda, flat soda, you know what I'm saying? All right, folks, and the final group on our list today out of the Brutal Mind stack is a band called Perverted Dexterity. I'll be honest, I don't really know what dexterity is. What does it mean to be dexterous? Like, like the show, like Dexter, maybe Dexter's Lab. So this is their first album. It's called Primitive Scene of Inhumanity. Yeah, uh, pretty standard stuff. I like the artwork. You probably can't make that out at all, but there's like weird looking trolls on there and they're like, yeah, that's, that's pretty funny looking. All right, so without further ado, do perverted dexterity. All right, they're just kind of chugging their way through the intro, so we're going to skip to the next track. Alright, that was the Perverted Dexterity album, uh, Primitive Seam of I liked it. I'll be honest, I enjoyed the previous releases that we saw a little bit more than this one, but out of the 13 tracks here, I think all of them serve their purpose, and this is just an overall really, really fun, brutal death metal marathon. Yeah, what do you expect? I mean, it's raw, it's punishing, tons of gurgling and gutturals, there's blast beats up the ass, there's lots of chugging, lots of good grooves, I like the transitions between some of the grooves and the fast parts. Yeah, Perverted Dexterity, um, it, it's standard, but it's done really, really well, so I'm not going to bash these guys at all for that. But we have more Perverted Dexterity. Oh, yes, we do. Look at that. <laughs> yes, this is uh, profligacy? Profleg profligacy? Profligacy. What are these words? I swear to God, either they're making these words up or, like, I just failed English, which I, I didn't. I got, I got 80s, man. Like, fuck. <laughs> Can you imagine this live? Holy shit, Indonesian fucking shows must be crazy. This is almost as chunky as, uh, what's that fucking band? Homophobic Fecophiliac, remember that shit? Yeah. Oh my god, well what a fucking improvement, I have to say. <laughs> god damn. Okay, so Perverted Dexterity is definitely on to creating some of the chunkiest slams you have ever heard in your fucking life. This is such a step up from their first album. This single is bombastic this isn't bad but this is like fucking insane holy shit <laughs> like i said the double bass is like a hammer hammer coming down on top of you and the chunkiness of the fucking guitar the tone of it uh the, the vocals are really good too yeah just like overall great improvement i'm like Sweating, I'm out of breath. Whew. All right, guys, that's all the bands I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, I would really, really appreciate if you would share it, like it, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to check out all the bands that I mentioned, all of their links are down below, as well as the Brutal Mind Records. My stuff is there too. If you want to follow my Facebook and my Instagram, that would be greatly appreciated as well. I'm sorry that the content's been a little bit slow lately, guys. I'm a little bit backed up with like personal shit in my life. Um, I mean, I guess. <laughs> 
YouTube isn't really something that's like super, super serious at this point. It's just kind of something I do for fun right now. But um, the promotion thing has been really fun, but it's just kind of like, you know. So yeah, hopefully you guys are excited for some more Canadian crypts. That's going to be upcoming, and I'm also going to be exploring some more uh, Indonesian brutality, as well as some more German metal, and we're going to be exploring some different kinds of scenes there, and yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have in terms of announcements, so without further ado, become fans and support bands. Fucking hails. <laughs> <laughs>